Well, Steve Bannon is expected to surrender to New York authorities tomorrow to face fraud-related charges. Bannon, the one-time Trump advisor, was pardoned by former President Trump for past federal criminal allegations, but is calling the expected criminal counts here, quote, phony. Chief investigative reporter Jonathan Deanst has the details. Talking about feelings and bitterness. Steve Bannon today was hosting his war room program, but tomorrow he's expected to walk into state court in Manhattan on a new round of criminal charges. Federal prosecutors last year charged Bannon with stealing about a million dollars from a charity he helped run. But President Trump pardoned Bannon of federal crimes in a series of pardons and commutations his last days in office. Trump's pardon does not cover state crimes, and Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's office opened its own investigation into Bannon's We Build the Wall charity shortly after that pardon was announced. This afternoon, Bragg at an unrelated event. Mr. Bannon issued a statement last night. Would not take questions on the expected state charges against Bannon, only offering no comment to reporters. Bannon issued a statement saying the Soros-backed DA has now decided to pursue phony charges against me 60 days before the midterm election. This is nothing more than a partisan political weaponization of the criminal justice system. It was last summer he was arrested by the feds for the alleged We Build the Wall scam. He said, I'm going to build a wall. Accused of plotting to use the $25 million charity with others to line their own pockets. Two others pleaded guilty, and a third faces retrial after a hung jury. Bannon this past summer was convicted after a separate trial in Washington, D.C., for contempt of Congress, after he refused to appear before the committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Bannon vowing to appeal his conviction in D.C. and fight the charges here in New York, starting tomorrow, when he's expected to appear in a courtroom at 100 Center Street. Jonathan Deanst. News 4.